Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to sit around and play with this little baby today. So if you would like to play with makeup and achieve a look together, please keep on watching. Alright guys, I'm just going to go ahead and open this little bad boy up. If you have not seen this Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette, this is what the Unicorn looks like. I am going to open her up and pull this out. And this is what the palette looks like. Very, very stunning palette. I am in love with this color story. Like, I keep putting my hands, like, here in this corner. Love. And then, like, right in here. And then here, these this little quad. Guys, I, like, I see so many different looks with this, but isn't that stunning? I do have her first palette. I have seen several, um, I wouldn't say reviews, but the the same old Jaclyn Hill drama stories, I guess you would say. I don't know. I don't see anything wrong with my palette. It looks in pristine condition. Give you guys a close up. I don't see anything wrong with mine so we're gonna go in and use this today if you want to create a look together and you own this palette get it out and let's play even if you don't own this palette and you like the look that I come up with get your makeup out if you have similar colors and let's create a look when I ordered this palette I did get the brush collection the face brush collection and I have not used them yet, but I do have to say that th these, I really like Morphe brushes, so I guess you would have to like the brushes to appreciate them, really, but it don't matter whose name or collection it was on it. Like, I would have purchased each individual brush anyway. When you look at this palette, like, a lot of people would get intimidated, but I don't, because when I look at this, I see, like, more of your office looks, more of your daytime summery vibes, some smoky nighttime looks. If you really look at a palette like that, you don't get intimidated as bad. Because even like in the neutrals, even a pop of color on under your um, on your lower lash really, really is pretty. It also, if you use the right color to complement your eye color, it really make your eye pop. M441, I'm going to go in with, I don't know, part of me just wants to dive right in. Posit positivity. It's like a corally, orangey. I don't know how to explain this. Guys, before I start, I am going to prime my lids right quick with some P. Louise base and shade. Now with the positivity and I'm going to pop this right in and above the crease. Alright, I'm going to go in now on an M433 and hard to on. And I'm going to pop this right into the crease and the outer V. Just start blowing it out. This color is really pigmented. I really wish somebody would come out with a solid red, different red shades and an eyeshadow palette. How pretty would that be? right up my alley. On an M456, I'm going to go in with Next, right here. Just a deeper, looks like a maroon sort of. And I'm going to put this right here into the outer V. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of this P. Louise and I'm going to cut the crease. Okay, on a JH, what is it, 41? I can't hardly see that little bitty right. I'm gonna take, I'm in it and empowered. The, this one 
and this one and I'm gonna mix for my lid shade. right here and I am going to put this in the outer V and try to get the this the outer V and the lid shade to kind of marry and become one All right, guys, I'm gonna pop off camera real quick and do some liner and lashes and stuff so that way this video isn't so long and I will be right back all right guys I got those lashes on they're no-name lashes. I don't know what they are, where they come from, or what. It's just a lash that I lost the little thing to, the box. So I've just been trying to get my wear out of them before moving on. I am going to take an M213 in Therapy Sesh. And just run it along the lower lash, but really hang into the lower lash. Hush, puppy. All right, I'm gonna take this Jaclyn Hill Morphe M JH48. There's nothing on this brush, guys. I'm just doing away with that harsh line. Back in again with that M213 brush. And I am going to go in with Not My Journey. Okay, it's just a little bit more of an intense purple than what we just laid down. And again, I'm gonna go right over that same therapy sesh. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with therapy sesh. I had to let Puff in or he'll just sit there and cry the entire time. And just drag it down a little. Probably drag it down a little too far here, but that's okay. Take a little bit of setting powder powder this is the Too Faced born this way on a Jaclyn Hill JH 33 you can use any blending brush and I'm just gonna go right where I drug that down almost a little too low and sort of erase that way we don't look like a crazy walking around all right, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go in with ColourPop's Crybaby in this light lavender color, and I'm gonna put that on my waterline to sort of brighten this thing up. I'm gonna go back in the shade I'm in it, and I am going to use that as an inner corner highlight and just lay right on top of the pink and then a little bit here down here on the purple just to sort of tie that little inner corner in. I'm gonna take a little bit of the gloss from Jeffree Star. This was in the Valentine's collection. So I, the little reading, like the writing is so small that I can't see it. I'm just gonna tap this, see how it's little blue glitters I think it pull this look together right, this is the look we created I love it I think that it would be very very pretty for like Easter all the little pastels and a dress or a top with an eye look like this glamorous anyways guys um the Jaclyn Hill palette I love I knew I would the color story I am totally in love with um I will get a lot of play out of this. I really, really want someone to come out with a red palette. So you guys already know that I'm going to be in this corner and I will wear it out more than likely. And my wear out isn't like you guys. I know that a lot of you are doing that or have done that project pan. I'm sort of one that likes to keep my, th my stuff pristine and looking like it's never been used. That's just me, but I do have a fairly large collection, so for me to hit pan on something 
is a rarity. Like I really, really would have to be just loving that one. And I have so much that I would, I would never, the chances of me hitting pan on anything is almost slim, slim to none. Guys, if you have picked this palette up, let me know what your thoughts are on it. Um, I really liked Jaclyn Hill's first palette that she did with Morphe. I did not pick up the lipsticks that she came out with. I did pick this up and I picked up the highlighter that she did with Becca. I think that's pretty much all that I own of Jaclyn Hill outside of her makeup brushes. But she does have a lot of controversy around her name. I understand that. There are a lot of people that refuses to support her and I can understand that too. So I always try to just review the product, not the people behind it. So I don't know. I just love to play in makeup, bottom line. So I guess that's going to do it for me, guys. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would hang out and stay a while. And I guess I'll see all you other guys in my next video. Bye, guys.